holidays are about showing the people in our lives that we care. So what do we do? We spend a lot of money to buy gifts. But what about buying the gift of wealth this season? According to our financial advisor, Ashley Fox, it's probably way more simple than you might think. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so we laid out some gifts that are possible gifts that people might buy people. But yes. you say, instead of buying the actual gift, let's invest in the child by investing in the company. Correct. Let's start with Apple. So a lot of people might be saying, oh, my kid wants that new iPhone 10, $1,000. Right. And Apple stock is a lot cheaper than that. And let's just say a 16-year-old wants to buy the new iPhone. Right. If you would have bought Apple stock two years ago, you would have made a 50% return. That could have paid for your kid's college books the entire year they were in school. Goodness! You don't think about that, though. You're just thinking, let me please this bratty child that's asking me for this new device so they yeah. can have their nose in it forever. Jordans. A lot of kids want those. What do we do for, for Jordans? You spend what? Two, how much are those now? Almost $200. $200. So, think about it. Who owns Jordan? Nike. And we're always using Nike. Nike has been around for years. Mm -hmm. So just imagine, if you would have bought Nike, let's say, four years ago, you'd have been able to pay for four college applications for your child. Goodness. So the purchase price for Nike right now, I think, is $55.15 Yes, a for share. one share, meaning you own one piece of Nike, and as opposed to having a pair of sneakers that you probably won't wear in, what, maybe six months because a new pair is going to come out? Or someone's going to step on them right. and they'll get dirty, <laughs> <laughs> and then you're bad. Yes. Um, okay, the famous Xbox 360. So these are kids maybe that are like seven to ten years old. They want to be on the, or the adults. The men are on them all the right. time, the headphones. This is a popular thing. So these, I don't even know how much they run now. They're, they're expensive. They're expensive they're is expensive. the point, right? But one of the richest men in the world created Microsoft, which actually owns Xbox. So what if you can own a piece of a company one of the richest men in the world created? So you can say, I'm going to spend $84.27, mm -hmm. and, and you say that you can, you can expect to see a 140% return on your investment. So that, that was based off of the past eight years. Meaning, so you got to think, if your child is an infant, two years old, eight years old, by the time they get 18 to go to college, what can that stock price potentially grow to? Versus, they're probably not going to use the Xbox for, you know, after a few years. Right. They're, they're going to get rid of it. So why not grow their net worth? and have them be worth something. And, and as opposed to taking out student loans, ringing Sally Mae's doorbell, why not just be able to sell your stocks to put your kids through college? I know I took out student loans, and I don't want to do that at all. Ever again. Yeah, it took no. forever to pay it off. I'm, st I I'm still paying. Still paying. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I remember when I paid it, I had like a party for myself. It was like <laughs> so refreshing and so freeing. Okay, let's talk about the toddlers. So they get all these toys, and the parents will tell you, Ashley. Yes. They don't play with them. They open them. They're excited about it, but they throw them to the side for something new that comes along. So right. you can invest in what Hasbro is the company. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Hasbro makes a lot of toys, from Mr. Potato Head to Play-Doh, Transformers. There's Frozen. tons of toys that that they make. So why not? Because we're always giving them our money. They're going to make generate revenue during the holiday season. So why not buy a piece of the company? And you can still buy the toy. Right. But in this case, this this company has the potential to grow. Again, so we don't take out student loans for college. Why not invest and grow our net worth, buy stock in the company we're always giving our money to? Another one that's roughly $80. Like, so these two things you can buy. Spend eight, less than $100, yes. and you can invest in this company, not yes. just one item right. the company and, and makes. And if that company grows, your money grows right with it. This sounds so good. Amazon, same thing, though. Yeah. Instead of online shopping, you say just buy it to Amazon. Yeah. So Let's just say you didn't want to go to the store. A mm -hmm. lot of people aren't going into stores now. You want to buy. You want to buy on Amazon. Let's just say you bought all your infants' toys on Amazon. If you would have bought your toys seven years, ago, 17 years ago, for an infant that will be 18 in seven in 17 years, you would have had over a 3,000 percent return. That could have paid for one year of your college tuition for your child. Starting when they're an infant, when they get a social security number. And Amazon is putting everybody out of business. Okay, because Ashley, tell me this. How yes. easy is it, though? Like, do you go online? What do you do? Because parents are probably thinking, I want to do this now, hearing this information. So I personally love this app called Stockpile. And if you go to Empify.com slash Journey to Wealth, you can get $5 towards any stock you want for you and your child. But it's, it's simple, it's easy, it requires no minimum to start. And it, they only cost 99 cents every time you buy a share of a company. But it's simple, it's easy, they have graphics. I know a nine-year-old that knows how to use the stock app, and she's excited because she's buying Disney, and she's making money, and she's watching it grow. But now it's instilling in her mind, I'm building wealth, and as I'm watching Disney movies, buying these products, Disney is making money, so I'm making money, too. I'm doing it for my nieces. Yes. I love this. Really quickly, you have a book coming out right before Black Friday. Yes. Share with people um, what's in this book. So I'm going over the top five things you need to do to mentally prepare yourself and financially prepare yourself for the holidays. So I talk about buying stock, 
taking care of your mental, taking care of being gracious, granted being grateful for what you're doing, why you're doing it, and making sure that you don't end the year feeling On a bad broke. note. Yes. In the red. Right. So <laughs> you started 2018 with a bang. You're excited. You didn't spend all of your money, but you also came out investing your money, growing your money, and you're mentally strong to start the holiday. Ashley, thank you so much.